Hello everyone. Hi there. If you have a visual of just, well, not the game yet, but just me and the chat and stuff, let me know. We should be back again. I copied the save file from my Quest for Glory 4 game. It's in the correct folder and I tested it. The game actually recognizes it so we can um, start our adventure soon. I'm just going to boot up the game first and I want you guys to tell me if the audio is okay. I noticed the game was rather loud so I lowered the volume from 100% to 65. So let me know how the volume is of the music and if it's okay we can start the introduction. Let's see. Uh, is it running? Uh, I have a problem with... Hang on. Ah. Why is it not running now? Let's try again. Okay, now it works. How's the volume? Is it too loud? Is it too soft? Let me know. It's already at like 65%. Music still a bit too loud? Or not? Let me know. I can lower it still, of course. Yeah, the game is quite different from the last four. But you know what? I wanted to do the whole series. Alright, still a bit. Let's actually go here then, go to volume mixer lower it to about 50. What about now? How's the music compared to my talking voice? Is it okay for everyone else in chat? Demonic, Ra, Vader? Because if the music is okay, we can actually start the introduction, because you want to have one for this one, because otherwise it makes no sense. Seems better, seems okay. Alright. So, I tested this earlier. The introduction actually makes the game crash after it's over. So we have to go boot up the game again. But, sit back and watch the introduction. Silmaria was a peaceful kingdom nestled among a hundred islands until the dragon came. The beast rose from its ancient lair and plunged the land into chaos. Seven pillars were raised and enchanted with spells from ancient scrolls. Nope, the no pillars here. were placed throughout the kingdom. As each one rose, the dragon became weaker. This powerful enchantment drove the dragon into its lair. But remember, dragons live a long time, and once angered, they do not forget. Years of peace have come and gone, and most have forgotten the dragon's reign of terror. But there are those who do remember. And for one in particular, the past is seen as the key to the kingdom. I have seen a vision that the blood of a murdered man will break the ancient spell and free the dragon from its tomb. And as the pillars fall, 
dark fingers of evil will reach out across the land. I am the king of Silmaria, and I do not have long to live. An assassin has been unleashed to kill me, and an army of evil terrorizes the countryside. Silmaria must have a new leader, and the dragon must be destroyed forever. Only a hero can save the kingdom. I pray one will come in time. crashes that's fine give me one sec I'm fixing this right now that happened last time as well so go here kill open it up again and back here all right now we can actually play the game what do you guys think of the little intro? It's a good thing I showed it, obviously, because it would have made no sense otherwise how we... why we are here and such. Now you have actually a reason, you know? <laughs> Famine, war, pestilence, monsters, scratches appearing on CDs, overcooked pasta and sandpaper toilet paper. We need a hero! We do. Let's go play the game. And import V5. Yes. As you can see... Here is our little thief, all the way back from the very, very first game, through Spielberg and Shapir, Tarna and Mordavia, we are now here. As you can see, they have gotten rid of quite a few skills, including dodging and parrying is no longer a thing. Climbing and acrobatics and throwing are still there as well as stealth and lockpicking but a couple of things have changed we now actually have an offense stat and a defense stat there's still the typical strength intelligence agility vitality and luck we have no magic obviously there's a new skill swimming we have a little bit of honor here we have no mana we have some stamina and some health so, as always, on a new game, what shall we spend our points in, ladies and gentlemen? You can increase pretty much anything. Obviously, the things close to 400 are already at maximum from the last game, so they don't need much attention. Yeah, so Mario is really holding out for a hero. True, true. Yeah, it is early 3D though, Kaori. It's not the most smooth looking game, but we'll make it a fun ride. Uh, swimming for sure sounds like a good idea. That costs you 100 points. So we have 50 points now to spend in things that we do want to level up a bit. Lock picking? Sure. Stealth? Sure. What else? We can increase three more things. I played Final Fantasy VII on a computer who could uh, lag like crazy with this game. Do you think a bit of old graphics will scare me? No. No. Three more things. You guys have any suggestions? Kaori already suggested lockpicking, stealth, and swimming, which I did, but we have three more skills to level up. Or rather, three skills to put ten points into.
Anyone else? If not, I'll just pick three things. Vitality is good. Two more things we can pick. Either strength or agility. Maybe get thrown to 400. Bit of luck. Agility, sure. One more. a bit. <sighs> there. Um, well, if you guys can't decide, I'm just going to give us 10 luck. And let's play. So, dear boy, the reason Fenris and I brought you here is this. You are a hero. And so, in the grand tradition of all heroes, you need to go where you are most needed. That happens to be Silmaria at this moment. The former king was assassinated a short while back. We have no idea why this was done or even who did it. Thus, you were summoned. Silmaria needs a new king, and thus the right of rulership is about to begin. This right will determine the next ruler for the kingdom. We would like you to enter the right of rulership. It is the most likely way to find the villain behind the nefarious deeds going on in Silmaria. If you choose to accept this mission, you will need to go to the Hall of Kings to speak with Logos, the centaur who is in charge of Silmaria right now. You will enjoy Silmaria. I am certain you will meet some old friends and make new ones. This is an interesting city, and these are interesting times. I've arranged for you to stay at the most amusing inn in Silmaria. Would you like to go there now, or are you ready to head into danger? Duh. I suppose danger. I need to look at my inventory. I have some drachmas, dagger, leather armor, tinder box, some fruit, a blackbird, and a toolkit. As far as equipment goes, we really don't have much, just this. Now I have to remember how I actually fight in this game. Ah, do the dead. Just clicking, I guess. Does this heal you? It does not heal you, it's stamina. Let's just actually exit, shall we? Uh, there's the city, I believe. Yeah, that's the city. I have to get used to the game, it's been a while. And equip the shield, right? Yeah, we can actually use that as a thief. It's weird, I know. Also, we have arrows, but no bow yet. We can only look and click. 
the game got a bit, you know, simplified. Let's actually save our game. I saved a lot in the first time I did this. Thief Ahoy. I should take a look at this. Uh, controls. Dialogue volume. Okay. If there's something in the game that needs adjusting, let me know, okay? I can actually make a balance here. Default movement run. Default movement. Okay, show compass. Yes. Okay. Keyboard. Okay, here we go. Uh, turn left. Okay. Swim up and down with A and Z. Run modifier shift. Move modifier control. What is shift? Oh, that is that is running and walking and control. Is that sneaking? No. How do we sneak? Oh, K. Attack. Okay, defense. K. Pick up item. Inventory screen. K is sneaking. Okay, there we go. That we should know. Anything else? Experience points, puzzle points, total score. And that's my high score. And you can see the deeds. We have completed no deeds so far. We can rest whenever we want, but we're not going to do that. We're going to actually explore the city a bit. Can I put my dagger away? Yeah, that's a good one. I don't want to go into the city with my dagger actually out. Also, you guys may have not noticed this by now, but the game Silmaria, it takes place in Greece. Or it actually is based on Greece. Since the currency here is a drachma. Which I believe was a currency or maybe still is a currency in old Greece. Adventurous Guild. There's no voiceover for the narrator sadly. But we entered the... Okay. Sign our, note na our name in the notebook again. You take the pen lying upon the table, dip it into the octopus ring, and sign your name with the quest in the book into the flourish. Read it. The latest entry is your own. Okay. Look at the logbook over. You realize that there is relatively new. Your figure was started when Toro took over as the adventurous guildmaster of Somaria. Hey, Toro? Okay, look at this. Adventurous Guild Bulletin Board. Potion ingredients needed. Feathers. So do we. Hey man, need some energy? Bring the feathers of the apothecary to bring the feathers of the Pegasus to the apothecary and we'll fix you up. Keep on trucking. Announcements. Rights open. Enter rights of rulership. Be king of Somaria. Good job for best man or woman. Go to the Hall of Kings. Help wanted. Lost basket. Lost. Small wicker basket. Last seen. Beach southwest of Somaria. Return to Sera, the beet merchant. Small reward. Wanted help. Regicide. Wanted. Assassin of the King of Samaria. Reward of 2,000 drachmas for information regarding to the arrest. Right. As you can see, this game has a lot of familiar faces, including this one. Hello, we know you. Good see Hero Man. Good Hero Man here. Toro like Hero Man. Good see Hero Man. You guys remember Toro from the very first game? Like Silmaria, be like home, like guild, important job. Miss Elsa, want Elsa be here more. Glad see you. Toro come here. Guild guy ask Toro if adventurer. Toro say yes. Guild guy say Toro, guild master. Guild guy go, Toro stay. Toro, Guildmaster. 
come here with Elsa. No like man Elsa with. Stay here in Silmaria. Good place talk adventure. Good place make body strong. Good place learn things. Good place. Thanks, Toto. What's this? If you are not moose taken, this is a rare moose fish. Remember, no moose is good moose. Legends say only virgins can see unicorns. You pretend you can't see it. <laughs> uh, oh, this thing. That's to train, I guess, every day. You engage in a strenuous task of physical fitness. It takes a lot of energy to do this as much work. You know, a little bit of a little bit of training won't hurt every day. I guess that's fine. Like most games, there is a little bit of training you can do every day. In this case, it's just this. So we're just getting our bearings, right? I know it comes quite as a shock, but this game is actually 3D, unlike the other first four game. It's not a complete point-and-click adventure anymore. It takes a little bit of liberty with the action genre here and there. There's a lot of changes. Hmm. This sign reveals that the building is called the Dead Parrot Inn. Dead Parrot Inn. Haven't we heard of that before? The door is well constructed. The ornate carved wood reminds you of some of the doors you've seen in Shapir. The lock is a simple keyhole, and there is no discernible trap. No one responds. Everyone must have gone out or gone to bed. Alright. Hello there. Yeah. Welcome to sunny Samaria. What do you want? You want to see my weapons? Show me you've got the cash, and I'll show you my stuff. There's a strong warrior in town who calls himself Magnum Opus. He knows how to use real weapons. There's also a big, ugly guy that hangs around with the scientists. I don't see that he's got any weapons, but I hate to mess with the size of those fists. Then there's a woman. I can't believe a woman thinks she can become king here. Kings are men, not dames. She'll learn her lesson soon enough. If you play in the big leagues, you've got to be tough. Is the voice acting of this game loud enough? Or do I have to increase it a bit more? Just let me know. You're a hero? Wouldn't know it to look at you. You'll have a chance to prove it around here. Just enter the rights of rulership and we'll see who's a hero. The rights of rulership are not for wimps. They prove who is the finest man suited to become the king. You've got to be tough to be the king of Samaria. Brains and brawn. The best combination for the true warrior. Well, that sucks. We have no brawn nor brains. We're a thief. What can we buy? Okay. We can get a dagger. 20 drachma. A spear. Arrow. Sword. Fine axe. That's a bit much. Helm. Shield, magic spear, throwing spear. That reminds me of the third game, remember? Ohura's training. And a magic sword. Lots of cool thingies, but we don't have a whole lot of money. I'd rather look around first before we buy anything. I think we found Isra's brother, yeah. Pretty much. What's over here? Oh, 
Hello. What? Oh, what are you doing here? Can't you see I'm busy? Name? What's a name, boy? I've been called a lot of things in my time. You can call me Famous Adventurer. That's mostly what I'm known as now. This is the Famous Adventurer's Correspondence School. You think this was the Library of Silmaria? So you're a graduate of this school. I didn't think anyone ever read the crap I write. New in town, huh? I was going to write a travel book about Silmaria sometime. Maybe I did. Just can't remember. Anyway, go see for yourself. Only way to learn. Okay, we will. Don't squid yourself, there's a lot to see here, and you can't learn something if you know where to hook. Glancing from the books, you see many myths and legends of the island. This, the book looks fascinating. One story tells how Hercules defeated the monstrous Hydra with the help of his nephew Lolas, who burned the Hydra's heads as Hercules chopped them off. Another story relates how Hercules went into the depths of the Hades to rescue his friend's wife from the dead. One tale is of Daedalus, who made wings by placing wax and feathers on a wooden framework. He and his son Icarus used them to fly away from Maret. However, Icarus flew too close to the sun, thus melting the wings and plunging to his death. One story tells of how the winged horse Pegasus sprang from Medusa's blood, spilled when Perseus cut off the Gorgon's head. You come to the end of the book. All in all, the myths of this region are fascinating and well worth reading. You see the familiar books Field Guide to Fricana and Scenic Shapir in less than 15 hours a day. There's also a copy of Elephants in Mordavia, an endangered species. <laughs> yup, even this game has callbacks to the other four games. Checking out the items on the board, you'll see an announcement for the last year's E4 Expert Existential Explorers Expedition. The convention has Professor Grant Gottfield's famous lecture on Future Field Trips to Fricana and South Fricana Safaris with Hank Malan. Of course, Fricana is where uh, Tarna take is, where Tarna is, where the third game took place. Took place. I should just run, I guess. Are those rocks I can pick up? Yeah! Oh yeah, guys. We got some rocks, baby! Remember? Can't leave home without them. We love our rocks. I actually don't want to go here yet. I want to go check out the city some more. I have to do a little bit of inventory management later and basically... The game works with a hot bar now instead of, well, what you're usually used to. The combat is quite different, as you have already seen a bit of. And I wasn't prepared, so I nearly died. But we have no healing potions anyway, so... All good. Hello. Is that a kata? Delicate melodies waft from the lovely kata musician. You guys know this tune? Kind of cool, right? What's in here? Oh, come on. Let me through. Into the apothecary. Hello there. You have been injured. Please allow me to heal your wounds. Oh, thank you. There now, you're all patched up. 
Doesn't that feel so much better? Oh, Julinar, look! It's that prince person who told me about you. I'll never forget him. I can't tell you how happy I am that you told me about Julinar back in Tarna. Uh, whatever your name is. <laughs> Welcome to our apothecary. I believe we have met before, although I was in quite another form at the time. Oh, that's right. Julinar was a tree when you last saw her, wasn't she? Well, it's good to see you again. Yup. They got a bit of an update on their story. Hey there, Anda. Good evening. You remember back in the second game? Julinar. Which we told in the third game to Salim. And now they're actually together. It is a great pleasure to see you. You have been most kind to me. It is good to be human again. In the form of a tree, you can learn great wisdom, but it is the knowledge born of solitude. I now enjoy greatly the company of others. I am mastering the arts of healing both the body and the soul. Salim is a man of great kindness and heart. I am deeply happy with him. With Salim's knowledge of potions and pills, and my healing abilities, we have much business here. This land is so much more alive than the deserts I grew up in. It is so green and lush that it soothes the soul. You said it, Julinar. Plants make people happy. Uh-huh. Hi, it's so good to see you again. I really have to thank you for telling me about Julinar. She's everything I dreamed she would be. I left Tarna and went all the way to Shapir by boat. I followed your directions, and there I found Julinar, all alone in the desert, just like you told me. I guess even trees get lonely. So I camped out there and talked to her, gave her some hugs and some really good plant food I brewed. Her leaves really perked up with my kind words. Then I awoke one night and the tree was gone. There sat the girl of my dreams in her place. I was totally thrilled, even if I did kind of miss the tree. We've been together ever since. <laughs> Isn't that neat, though? That throughout the whole game series, there are just some characters that, like, literally evolve and change and adapt and move on. Like you do, basically, from land to land. Yeah, I'm enjoying the game. It's been a good while since I've played this one. I never played the Thief version, though, so I more or less just started. We're doing a good business here. The plants just love this place and grow really well. We like making people happy, too. This is such a wonderfully cosmic place to be. I'm really glad we came here. Buy something, sell something, what can we get from you? Stamina pills, five drachma. Poison cure pills, that sounds good. Oh, now we can barter again. Offer. Hey, thanks! This will really help me keep the shop going so I can make some more good pills and potions. I'm gonna get a few. I'm gonna get like... Four? Hey, thanks! This will really help me keep the shop going so I can make some more good pills and potions. I'd like to have some poison cure. This is a healing pill. That also sounds pretty good. Thanks! This will really help me keep the shop going so I can make some more good pills and potions. I could be wrong, but this, I think this is the exact same dialogue that he says in the third game when you buy something from him. Fireproof potion, vitality potion, health potion. Oh, I don't really... I should get some stamina pills, I Let's suppose. Let's see, where is it? <laughs> if I were a little bottle, where would I be? I am afraid that you have sold the last bottle to that strong fighter who came here yesterday. Oh, right. We ran out of Pegasus feathers the last time we were making it. Sorry, but we won't have any stamina pills until we get a few more Pegasus feathers. Right, Pegasus feathers. That was mentioned on the billboard already. But, alright. Thanks, guys. I'll check back in later again. Thanks for the pills.
I'm just checking the town out. It's almost night time ish. Well, not night time, you know what I mean. 6 p.m.? That's around when. Oh, you're getting hungry. There is a hunger system in this game? I forgot about that. Well, we'll just eat some food then. Okay. Hello there. Greetings, greetings, greetings. It is always a pleasure to meet someone new. Welcome to Silmaria. I am Wolfie, an artist, an artisan of Grecian urns and amphoria. Hello there. It is most genuinely a pleasure to be seeing you. My tail wags very fast. An amphora is a Grecian urn. It is used to carry liquids of all varieties. Are we speaking union or non-union? Uh, I don't know. You wish to know more about me? I am only an artist trying to make a living by selling what crafts that I can. I come from the lands of Punjabi, where my people the canines live. I am skilled at making art with clay or paint. If you have need of something made or painted, then I would be most happy to be doing it for you. Silmaria is a very fine city, yes indeed. This is the best place to buy many things in this town square. You can meet many people here as well. Some of them will be so kind as to not pick your pocket as they walk by. At the docks you can rent a boat and take a pleasant sea voyage. It is most fun, as long as you do not drown or get attacked by the sea people. I am not what? much up at Nob Hill, except daily to read the notices and to keep informed of many things that go on in this city. It is how I know the assassin has been killing people on the streets of Silmaria. I have even made a visit to the Guild of the Adventurers in the west part of town, even though I am not an adventurer. The guild master there is most impressive. If he came where I came from, he would be sacred. I think you will be very happy in Silmaria. It is a very good place to be, even if this city is soon to be overrun with foreign soldiers and destroyed economically by war with the sea people. Uh... Oh, you must be very careful of the monsters, thieves, and the assassins here too. All in all, you will find Silmaria to be most exciting. He likes to talk a lot, doesn't he? It is said that the countryside is overrun by the invaders from the north. Soon they will be knocking at our gates and asking to take over the kingdom, I am thinking. Mm -hmm. The sea people have been attacking many of the ships that sail to and from our harbor. The lives of many fish have been spared, for the fishermen have left this island. It is just as well, for they lost their homes to the soldiers. This was once a very fine place for thieves. Hmm. There was not a day gone by when I did not admire how a thief had taken something before my eyes without me seeing him. Uh, most of them are gone away right now. I have heard that these thieves are off searching for an ebony raven. This is most curious, for I have seen such a bird flying over the city. You would think that they would look up there for it first. Mm-hmm. The king of Silmaria was killed by an assassin, or so it is said. There is another person that the assassin has murdered, if the rumor is to be true. It is a wonder if we are not all killed by him. I am making these amphora and pots to sell for the people. I am also making nice maps for people to get lost with. <laughs> Most of all, I am painting fine pictures that never sell. Wow. The tailors do make very good paintbrushes, if you are lucky enough to have one. He paints with his tail? That's adorable. My people are cunning and clever, I am thinking. There is not a one of us who does not make very much money by working all the time. In this way, we do not find the time to spend the money we make. Punjabi is lying to the east of here by many, many miles. It is in the land of Inja. Someday I hope to sell enough to be making my way back to there. At times I am most homesick. Oh my goodness, you are certainly a hero. This is very good, because it is that Salmaria could use your help, I am thinking. What do you have for sale? I'm for a... That does sound good to have. 
That is a very good offer, but it is not enough for me to accept. Perhaps you will give me this much for it. Now we seem to be getting forward movement here. I think that you should offer me this. Don't you think you guys don't you guys think it's odd that the communication, aka the bartering, was just gone in the fourth game? And now it's back again? This is very, very good. We have made an agreement which we both agree upon. Map. That sounds really good. I'd love to have a map. That is a very good offer, but it is not enough for me to accept. Perhaps you will give me this much for it. Now we seem to be getting forward movement here. I think that you should offer me this. This is very, very good. We have made an agreement which we both agree upon. And this is... has painted a lovely landscape of a floating balloon. Oh, I'm a bit stingy on my money right now, so I'm not buying that yet. Wait, how do you save again? Oh, here. Options, save, thief, ahoy, save, override, yes. I'm still looking around. Hello. Where are you going? Here, talk to her. Akata, I think. Greetings, wanderer from afar. Welcome to the sea sands and shores of Silmaria. I am Sara, a kata merchant of jewelry and gifts. Yeah. How may I aid you on your journey? She is a kata, which we know from the second game. Welcome again, and thrice more welcome. You have the manners of one who earns the respect of all around you. We are the children of the desert sands, traders and merchants to a thousand lands. My mate, Marak, the food seller, and my daughter, Sala, the maker of music, have come to this land of water and waves to make our fortune. My life mate, Marak, sells food from a cart. He is on the other side of this plaza. Sala is still but a kitten, but she has talent and the will to become a highly skilled musician someday. Perhaps soon she will be invited to perform somewhere other than the streets of Silmaria. However, she is shy and doesn't speak except with her music. See, people said that they cost a bunch of collapse and think, Yeah, we'll have some fun in this game, Dwarf. And you, as someone who likes history and myths, will have a field day with this game. There's plenty of references. I am the seller of jewelry and baubles to please the eye and enhance the beauty of the wearer. It makes me wonder if, if they ever made a sixth game, if it would take place in... Uh, Inja. Since usually when in other games there is a small reference to the next one. Because in Spielberg, Shapir is mentioned by Abdullah Du. In the second game, Tarna is mentioned by Uhura and Rakish. In the third game though, there's no mention of Mordavia because it was so abrupt. But in, uh, in Mordavia, there's actually a mention of Silmaria, which we are right now. I am most well, kind sir. I hope that I may be of service to you always. This is a beautiful city, although there is too much water for the desert fur of Akata. This is the town square, where the merchants have shops and stands. There is word said that a hero has been summoned to this land to drive away the invaders and restore the peace of Silmaria. The countryside has been overwhelmed with an army of outsiders. The city may be attacked at any time. That is why this city is so empty. Most of the people and visitors have gone elsewhere. Tell about your adventures in Shapir. So, you are the Prince of Shapir. You are a great hero of our homeland. I am most honored to speak with you, Kata friend. And just like in the third game, there are a couple of references and dialogue options that you will only get if you import from your last game. And I guess this is one of them. Which is, you know, kind of neat. The small things. Let's see what we can buy. Bead necklace, jewelry, good luck charm, and a ring. All very expensive and I have no need for them yet, so I'm not gonna buy anything. But it's nice to know you are there. 
could you... Okay, across the bridge. There is the food merchant. Hello! Welcome, welcome, stranger. I am Marak, and this is my stand of food. If you find yourself suffering from the pangs of hunger, or desire just a snack to brighten your day, you have come to the proper place. May I aid you in any way? Just let me know, for I am at your service. As long as you don't drool on the, on the food, I'm fine. I am well and fine, thank you. It is a beautiful day, is it not? This city can be confusing to those new here. Silmaria has four plazas. This is the town center and the place of merchants. Above us is the plaza called Nob Hill. There are two paths that lead downward from this plaza. One will take you to the docks, the other to the westmost gates of the town. Okay. Here is where you may buy things of beauty of my life mate, enjoy the music of my daughter, or find things of use from Wolfie the artisan. You might also save your money at the bank, oh. find things of mysterious power at the shop of magic, or items to improve your health at the apothecary shop. Bank? As a thief, we are highly interested in this bank. The bank is the fine building with the winged lion statues. The banker will be happy to take your money. Well, we could take money from him, too. The apothecary is run by a most interesting human and his life mate. They are both caring people and will aid you in any way they can. Robbing the bank is pretty much the high-end goal for a thief, right? Remember, in the first game, all we did was we stole from an old lady. Then in the second game, we stole from a pair of drunk guards. In the third game, we stole from a sleeping elder. And in the fourth game, we stole from a house that was no one there. So this could be an actually, you know, dangerous yet very rewarding heist. At Nob Hill, you will find the Hall of Kings, center of the leadership of the city. You will also find the arena, a place where combats are held for the recreation. Many of the wealthiest of Silmaria reside on Nob Hill. There is also a magical device of which I have no real knowledge. I suggest you go up to Nob Hill and look at the thing yourself. You are more likely to know more of it than I. At his shop beside the docks, you will meet the weaponer Pholus. There is also an inn and tavern there. I have heard there is some sort of school located nearby, but I do not know for certain. The Dead Parrot Inn attracts adventurers and travelers to relax within its walls. I have never ventured there myself, for those who stand guard remind me unpleasantly of why I left Razir. Razir is mentioned. Hmm, you guys remember Razir? At the west end of this city, you will find the Adventurer's Guild and Gnome Anne's Inn. Gnome Anne's Inn. No man's. No man's inn. <sighs> Anne is a very amusing person, and I believe that her inn would be a good place to spend one's nights. Yeah, I'll go there soon. Ah, I have foods of all types to delight the taste. From savory to sweet, I have something that is unique. Mm -hmm. The island of Marit is usually very popular this time of year. Unfortunately, the death of the king and the invasion have driven many away. I am Marak, a kata from the land of Razir, desert birthplace of my people. My family and I have journeyed afar to serve one and all with such pleasures that they might fancy. My mate and beloved is Sara, maker of gifts who has a stand on the other side of the plaza. My darling daughter is a fine musician and shares her love of music with all who have ears. My family and I sell joys for the ear and the taste and the eye. 
My wares treat the mouth to a variety of sensory experiences from this region and beyond. Mm-hmm. We Kata are a desert people from the lands to the east. We are traders and merchants to the world. Yeah, we've been there. Several years ago, my people were driven from our homeland and scattered with the winds by a most evil man who usurped the throne of Razir from its rightful emir. I have heard word that my homeland has been freed by a hero. Yeah. The land is now ruled by a wise and gracious woman. One day, my family and I shall all return to the desert lands once more. Who is this hero, then? It has been said that a mighty hero was brought to the desert lands by my people. He defeated the foul wizard that drove away the Kata. The hero is said to be a most kind and brave man. So, you are a friend of my people? It is an honor to meet such a hero. You are already a part of Kata stories and history. The new ruler of Razir is the daughter of the old Emir. She proved herself to be resourceful and wise and welcomes my people home. Her name is Zaisha. Ah, Zaisha became the new Emir. Remember the girl we helped escape from Razir and who we fornicated? Her? She's now the new Emir. That's cool. What do you have for sale? Some fruit. Hero. Mmm. Artichoke pizza. Pepperoni pizza. And a chocolatia. Chocolatakia. Let's get some fruit first. Uh, this is fine. I need some. I need something to eat, basically. May your mouth be charmed by the taste of it. Let's get. Chiros are thin sliced of spicy meat laid on top of pita bread and covered with cucumber dressing and red onions. It's much tastier. Chiros is awesome. If you haven't tried it yet, do it. It's awesome. Forgive me, but I must feed my family upon my profits. Perhaps you are willing to pay this for such a delight. Sure. That is very good. We have made a deal. Let's get some pizza. This artichoke pizza has a nice crust and plenty of cheese and sauce to make it messy but tasty. Artichokes on pizza, however, are an acquired taste. May your mouth be charmed by the taste of it. Many thanks. We can't escape pizza! Remember, it's an important aspect of every scientific, ex a scientific, ex scientific experiment. This well-made pizza has a crispy crust, succulent sauce, chewy cheese, and peppery pepperoni. May your mouth be charmed by the taste of it. Many thanks. Why is that super cliché song playing there? Go there. The magic shop. I can't do much here, but I still am, you know, inquiring info. Is that a big chest? Ooh, a storage chest. My thief senses are tingling. Uh, um, uh, anyway, let's go see who owns this place. Hello. Greetings, Prince of Shapir. My father, Rakish, informed me of your arrival. I am Chakra Sultana, and this is the magic shop of Silmaria. Hello. You're his son? Welcome to Silmaria and my magic shop. This is a land that is rich with magic. This island is rumored to have risen when Atlantis was destroyed eons ago. There are many magical items and weapons to be found here. Many merchants sell such items, if they consider you to be trustworthy. I sense that you do not have the essence of magic within your soul, but I do sell some things that might interest you. For instance, every adventurer could use a mystic magnet to carry them to safety. 
Hmm? I am certain you will find it useful. What is that thing? The mystic magnets are a pair. You set one in a place of safety, a bedroom for example. You have only to use the other magnet upon yourself to teleport instantly oh. back to the room with the other magnet. As you can tell, this can save your life when you are in danger. That sounds very useful. I am a wizard, the only male lion tar who has ever practiced the fine art of magic. I have made Silmaria my home for several years now. If you are but half the hero my father thinks you are, then I will be very happy to see you rule this island. It is good to see my father again. I summoned him when the king was assassinated. He has been aiding Logos, the High Counselor. Let's get one of these magnets, shall we? Magic dagger. Ooh, that sounds great. 500, but we can't get that yet. Magic charm bracelet, even more expensive. Mystic magnet. The mystic magnets are designed to magically draw one magic to another, thus teleporting the bearer. That sounds pretty good. Let's go for 85. I thank you for doing business with me. Ha. What a steal. Good. Let's save. I'm taking the first stream of this game basically to get used to the controls a bit and check around town. Nothing really special will happen, but at the very least we can get our bearings. I'm not going to do any combat, I'm not going to do any thievery, I'm just looking around. Can we go to the bank? The bank is closed. You should go now. Oh, it's closed. Fine. Then I have to go to the inn. Guess it's time to rest. Oh yeah, the merchants are. Uh, how do we get there? Here, I think. Yeah, I'm getting used to my bearings. We're gonna go to the inn. And we should put our mystic magnet in the chest there, as uh, Raksha told us. So that whenever we are in danger, we can just teleport back. I suppose this must be the inn. Hello there. Hey look, it's a moose. Nope, it's a reindeer. Who ever heard of a red-nosed reindeer? Hello, sailor. I'm Anna Grandma, Gnome Anne, and this is my land inn. You guys remember the puns in the last game? It got even worse. California! Or whatever it is they say around here. Wanna get to know me a little better? I'd sure like to get to know you. I came all the way from Zurich to make this little bed and breakfast in winterless wonderland. And what happens? No tourists. That's the way my life goes. This seemed like a good deal. I got a good loan from the other innkeeper in town. Nice guy, if a little chubby. As my first and only customer, I'll let you have the best room in the joint. Okay, good. I don't know much about Silmaria, because I've only been here a short time. I'm always in, and never out. Ha ha. Oh, so you're the guy the chatting rat made arrangements for. Cheese to meet you. Your room's paid up through the month. Wow, a whole month. Cool. Yours is the first door at the top of the stairs. All the comforts of Gnome, including Gnome cooked meals. <sighs> Let's get a Gnome cooked meal.
Today's special is something I think you'll really love. Well, maybe not love exactly. More like, um, well, you'll find it interesting. It's garlic smashed potatoes and pistachio cream. What? Tessie was making baked potatoes and ice cream for dessert. But Tony, who was juggling the garlic, slipped on the banana that my gal Sal dropped. Tony's garlic landed on the potatoes, and Tony landed on Tessie. Tessie landed on the potatoes, and they were really smashed. So that was okay. Then Rover found that Tessie had set the ice cream on the stove, and it had all melted. What? Fortunately, no one likes smashed potatoes without gravy, so things worked out just fine. What the heck? Smashed potatoes with pistachio ice cream. I think I'll pass. It's better than everything with garlic, if I guess. If you want to get into your room or the inn late at night, you'll need a key. Here you are. Key? Woman, I'm a thief. Did I get my key, though? Seriously. I'm a thief. <laughs> keys. Who needs keys in this place? Uh, I'm just gonna unlock the door because I'm nice. Humbug. Alright, let's get this thing out. Do you just drag it? You just drag it. Okay, and then eight. Oh wait, eight in there. You carefully place one of the magical magnets in the chest. You can now use the other magnet to transport yourself here. Good. So the mystic magnet will just drop that here. I need my map at all times. Healing pill sounds good. This was... What was this again? Poison cure pill. That sounds good. I want my rocks here. Thief toolkit, of course. I don't need my shield there. Don't need these. What else could be useful to take along? Uh, not much else, really. I'll just... I guess this is good for now. My main weapon, my precious rocks, uh, my thief toolkit, poison pill, healing pill, map, and the magnet. Sounds good. Let's save. So, I know it's been a little while. What do you guys think of this game so far? I know it's a lot different than the other games, but just curious. Let's go take a nap, because it's 8 p.m. Steal the sheet, go to sleep, make the bed, make the bed. And let's go to sleep. Sleep until morning. You awaken much refreshed early the next morning. Good. We have a bit more to explore. Wait, what does this say? <sighs> it's a fine sign, Nine. <sighs> Even there, the puns are strong. Takes a while to get used to, yeah. But what do you guys think? Seeing all these familiar faces, isn't that, isn't that neat though? That's one of the strong points of this game. You'll see many familiar faces from the first three games. There's not much from the fourth game. Well, there's a little bit, but not much. You'll see most characters from the first three. Let's go up here now. Yeah, the meals are awful later, as you know. up here and also to the bank I haven't been there yet oh did I check this yet don't think so welcome to Samaria rights of rulership shall begin when five or more contestants have entered right 
The fishing, the fishing villages of Meret have been deserted by the fishermen. Fishing boats have been attacked by Hesperian mercenaries, and the fishermen feared the villages would be attacked next. Honeybees have also been deserting their hives. This is considered to be many to be a very bad omen. If you have courage, moral strength, and leadership skills, you may have what Samaria needs as a king. Enter the rights of rulership for 1,000 drachma and complete, compete to prove your worth as next of Samaria. I need 1,000 drachmas? Well, I don't have that yet. The kingdom of Samaria is still shocked and in mourning for the assassination of our beloved king Justinian. May he rest peacefully in the Elysian fields of Hades. Yeah, I can't enter that yet. I need 1,000 drachma. So we yeah, gotta go make some, get some loot or get some money some, somewhere. There's the arena. Seems to be closed during the day. <laughs> There's the spinning hat, which I guess we can use to get to Erasmus if we need to talk to him, but no need for now. Can I just run? Yeah, I can just run. Take some stamina, but why not? Let's go to the bank. As a thief, I am quite interested in this bank. I would like to make a withdrawal. Many times. Greetings, and welcome to the First Bank of Silmaria. This is the safest place to keep your savings secure from pickpockets and thieves. Would you like to leave your money with me? Oh, it's you. I was told you were coming. Your friend set up a savings account in your name. Hefty sum of 500 drachmas. You've got some generous friends, let me tell you. Oh? That's nice. Hi there. Have you invested in your future? This is the place to save. Mm-hmm. I'm Sam. Sam the Banker Man. I own and run this bank. Would you like to make a deposit? The First Bank of Silmaria will keep your money safe and secure. Drachmas can get heavy when you carry too much of it, and you make yourself a target for every cut purse around. The Right of Rulership Fund is set up for the competition to become King of Silmaria. You need to contribute 1,000 drachmas in order to enter the Right of Rulership. Usually people have friends and relatives help raise that much cash. We have one fund which gets contributions from all the guards in Silmaria. It takes a lot of money to enter the Right of Rulership, but it is a great honor to compete to become King. Your savings will be kept in the most secure safe in all of Selmaria. The safe is equipped with the latest in modern locks and has a complex strap guaranteed to fry the robber foolish enough to try it. Thanks to your good friends. Is that a challenge? Got 500 drachmas in your account. Is that a challenge, my good sir? I have robbed many places before. That lion guy said that he and Erasmus the wizard were starting the savings account for you. They wanted you to enter the right of rulership. Man, you have strange taste in friends, but they sure make good ones. Don't tell Rakish he's a, he's a weirdo. He may snarl at you. Silmaria is a great place to settle down and save a little for the future. Too many people forget how important a savings account can be, particularly adventurers. Adventurers think they can fight monsters forever. Next thing they know, they are begging in alleyways. A sad fate for a once respectable hero. So save today to keep the alleys away, I always say. I thought you looked familiar. Yeah, we met in Spielberg, where I was working the alley as a professional panhandler. 
It wasn't long after you left Spielberg that the pass cleared and the tourists flocked back to town. I made a small fortune and said bye-bye to those cold climbs. Came to Silmaria and needed some place to stash my cash. So I started my own bank. Seemed appropriate after all. I'm still asking others for their money. You guys remember from the first game, in the alleyway, Sam the Beggar? He also got a new update on his character. Uh... Uh, withdraw. Withdraw. Whoa there! What good is money if all you do is spend it? Yeah, we need 1,000 to enter the king right. We don't have that. Here. We have 428 drachma, which is not a whole lot, but okay. Through the door of the bank gate, you can see the vault door. Hmm. Kinda neat though, right? I'm telling you, lots of familiar faces in this game. Also, if you look at my save dates, this was back in 2018. 2018. It's been four years since last I did a Quest for Glory playthrough. Hot damn. Was about time again. Um, now I want to go here. Uh, yes, this way. I think the money in your inventory is also directly from the bank. Demonic, that's probably why you thought we had more than we did. Look at some few more rocks. You grab a handful of rocks. You can never have enough rocks. We know how valuable rocks are. They helped us kill goblins and scorpions and big ass dinosaurs. Wyvern and bunnies, so it'll be helpful here too. What's that contraption over there? The strange towers and devices on the artificial islands are definitely all by anyone's standards. This must be the fabled Science Island. Didn't Dr. Cranium ask us to go visit them back when we were in Mordavia? I think he did. I think he mentioned it once. Giant ants, too, yes. Oh, it was your 20th birthday! Man, time flies, huh? The shoreline forms a path alongside the steep sea cliffs on one side, and the rising cliff on the other. This appears to be well constructed. It is clearly a pier without pier. Can I just... get the handle to move, or what? Examine the lever. The lever looks like it's affected the machinery leading from the control box below and onto the overhanging pole. You assess that it probably switches somehow in some way. Pull the lever. Push the lever. Seems to be stuck. Use force? Oh! With a search of strength, you force the lever to move. Unfortunately, you feel a snap and the lever flips out of your hands. Whoops. Well, I have to go find something I can use as a pole, then. As a lever. Something long. Like a stick. Alright. I'll, uh, I'll come back later to fix that. Whoops. What a weird place. Why do they have spiked bracelets on the... On the... 
on the pillars there. Reminds me of Bowser's castle. What even... I have no idea. Seems like a really wonky place. I believe, just like in the last game and the game before, events only happen after certain... Well, other events have happened. There's nothing that happens like in the second game where you basically have to wait a certain day. I don't think that is the case here. Oh, I didn't talk to the boat guy. Hello. Kalimera! That means good day here in Silmaria. Welcome to our city. I hope you find happiness on this island. I am Andre, a fisherman. I am also happy to ferry people to the nearby islands on my boat. Yasas, it is nice to see a new face around here. I am out on this dock on most mornings. I fish for most of the day and evening and come back in the night. I know the waters around Silmaria in my sleep. If you ever wish to go for a boat ride, I'll be happy to take you around the bay or to the nearby islands. Any further out than that, and boats are attacked by sea creatures. Most fishermen on Marit live in the villages outside town. That is, they used to live there. They have been driven from their homes by attacks from armed mercenaries. They have been driven from the sea by attacks from tritons and sea monsters, and most have left this island. I am the sole remaining Silmarian fisherman. Tritons are half men, half fish people who live under the water. They used to be friendly and helpful to fishermen. Lately, though, they have attacked every ship that sails past the nearby islands. No one knows why they have become hostile. The mercenaries are armed soldiers who have been sailing into the fishing villages and driving all the fisherfolk away. They could invade the city any day. Silmaria is the only city on the island of Marit. Marit is a large island, as you can see if you look on the map. In good years, you can sail around the entire island. And this is not a good year. And the seas are too dangerous to travel that far. Good to know. You remind me. Map. Okay. We have a little bit of our bearing. Let's take a look. Silmaria is right here. There's Paros, Tinos, Ios, Keros, Maxos, Spetsai, Piperi, Kea, Skyros, Psara, Delos, Minos, Limnos, Zante, and Hydra? Quite a lot of things to check once we can get there. I should check the map more often. Get a bit used to our bearings. I have like a couple of minutes left, so let's try out some of our new things in combat, like the rocks and stuff. I have to get used to combat again anyway. It's not th not the same like any of the other games. So I can throw rocks with two, and I can get my dagger with one. So we're gonna go outside, get my dagger out. So if I want to throw a rock, how would I do that? You can't use it that way. Do I just... Do I equip them? I do not equip them. I guess I... How do I... Do I throw? Oh, it's okay! I see. You select it and then... Uh, okay. Simple enough. Alright. I have 50 rocks. Hope that's enough. Keep my hand on here. Hmm. So I guess... Look at the map. Alright. Let's go here. Probably getting attacked on the way. The game has a random encounter system. Pretty much how the rest of the games work, actually. Yeah, there's something here, maybe. Hmm... Is there anything? Oh. 
The few worthless household items remain on the shelves, the occupants left in a hurry. The table has been set for a supper that was never served. Can I open this? Window is blocked. Okay, I can't open that. So now that I stepped inside here, is it added to my map? It is not added to my map. This place is deserted. Oh, I'm gonna still check everywhere. There might be some loot behind. And being the hum, good Samaritan that I am, I'd rather take a look. Most of the household plants is brown and uh, brown are dead. A few leaves stubbornly cling to life. No, nope, wait, the dead too. Hmm. Are there no cool chests left behind for me to loot? Could use some pick locking uh, experience. I need to be a thief again. I want to loot. I want to rob. What's this? Someone went to a great deal of effort to neatly stack this wood for burning. Something in the furnace, perhaps? Household activities once centered around this hearth, where once were laughter, warmth, and soup, are now silence, cold ashes, and no soup. Is that a cabinet, or is it just the side of the wall? Okay. Seemingly nothing here. This place is empty. Still, I'm gonna check everywhere. And I guess I'm running a bit. To build up some vitality. To have some more health later. Anything in the vases? Or do you guys say vases or vases? It's both are right. This vase contains a few dread, a few dried stems. This vase is decorated with a faded pattern of vines and flowers. The vase is cracked and useless. Great. There's nothing here. Basically wasted my time coming here, but oh well. Sometimes you just don't find anything. Well, there is a little bit more. But nothing in here. Also Chung Li's br uh, bracelets, yes. Wow, there's absolutely nothing here. Can I pick some of these? This one's well-tended garden now droops with thirst. Overripe vegetables rot on their stalks and the slugs are having a field day. Yuck. There's nothing to get here. There is so much nothing to get here. Well, okay. I had to try anyway. Uh, let's just make it back to Samaria. Since I have to stop soon. I would like to get one encounter to just test out a bit of, th of the combat. Do you could just get encountered? Oh, you do, okay. Gonna throw some rocks at ya. D is defending, right? Yeah. Okay, I get it. You gotta defend and throw rocks. Boom, 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 boom. Fear my throwing! Haha. Don't mess with my throwing, buddy. Oh, we actually got some rocks back. Sweet. Defense. I'm too close. So we're gonna just attack. Drachmas and another shield. I suppose I can sell sell this junk later. Is there a weight system in this game? 
Maybe that's what the... Oh, that's the weight bar. Now they brought the weight bar back again. It was gone in four. Well, okay, this is the weight bar. So I guess we can do... We can basically keep going. I have, like, a couple of shields. I can maybe, like, sell two. I'm curious. If I put this... Can I use this already? Wait, do I have to equip them? How does this work? I want to know. Can I use this? Can I use this in some way? Wait. No, it's not. Hang on. I guess I can't use this yet because I need a bow. Okay. Because if I select it, I can't actually... Okay. Yeah, we need to find a bow. Good. Was just wondering. Um. Yeah, I think we are good. Yeah, my grunts really are over the top, I know. I'm good at that. But that's pretty much how the combat system works. As you can see, we got some defense, we got some throwing, a bit of strength, agility, vitality, and luck. So let's save. I want to check out this place and then probably stop for today. You're getting hungry. Oh, what the heck. Run away, run away, run away, I wanna throw. You guys are way too annoying. Run. I can't beat these things, I think. Ow. Run! Can't run. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I don't think I can win. Nope. Uh. Friends will cry and maidens weep. Your heroes in the grave asleep. You may yell and you may roar, but better if you click restore. The morals play in the old refrain. Frequently, just save the game. Okay, I want to get out of here. Maybe I can just grab the basket I saw that earlier. Let's get out of here. Is there a basket here? That's the first one. Oh shit. Run. Run. Ah. I think I saw it earlier, but... Seems to be not here this time. Let's just get out of here. I can't handle these things right now. Where's the exit? There it is. Alright, let's just uh, use the magnet manually. Oh, you. Okay. And then we're back in here. Well, before we stop for today, let's have another awful meal. Wait, take off your dagger. Let's have another awful meal before we go to bed again. I have a lot to explore next time and get used to the controls, so... All good. Aloha, boy. Oi, you're a sight for sure eyes since I landed here. <sighs> the puns hurt.
The cooks have fixed something really special. Pancakes topped with fruit. They Sounds started good. to make a salmon souffle, but they didn't have any salmon. What? They did get a good deal from Andre on some anchovies, though. Sal wanted to make a blueberry pie, but Merrick was selling bananas and grapes, so she made those into a pie instead. Just as Rover was taking the souffle out of the oven, Tony called Tessie a frumpy old toadstool, so she threw the pie at him. She got him square on the face, and the fruit pie pan fell on the souffle, squashing it flat. So now we have anchovy pancakes and baked fruit. Ew. Hope you like it. God. Ooh. Anchovy pancakes with fruit. This is somehow worse than the last one. Yuck. I'm gonna take a nap and then stop for today. Uh, unlock. I'm not picking my own door, it's just silly. Right, let's go take a nap, since we need to heal. And I'm taking things slow. We got a whole month until we gotta pay for the inn anyway, so we have 27 days left pretty much, which should be fine. Our score right now, well, we got 35 puzzle points out of 500, which is not bad. That's the score that we had all four other games. Up, up to 500 to basically defeat the game. Oh, we got the Mystic Magnets, we got the Healing Pills, the Map, the Poison Cure Pill, the Sign, the Lockbook, and the Mystic Magnets. The, the deeds actually keep track of what you did to get some puzzle points. So you actually can now see what you did to get your points, which is, you know, new. Not bad. Let's make a save. And that'll be it. Want to replace? Yeah. So, we saved the land. We saved the land of Mordavia from the Dark One and Atavis once again. And now we're here in Somaria. Where our final adventure will continue next week. So thank you all very much for watching, guys. Have a good evening. Have a good weekend. And I'll see you next week for more Quest for Glory 5, Dragonfire. Take care, everyone. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.